Mocking is the process when you replace the dynamic data in your test application to your own data. For example, in my Conduit app, this list of tags and this list of articles is a dynamic data that is coming from the API. And I can replace this data with any data that I want. How do I know that this is a dynamic data? If I make a right click and inspect, and go to the networking tab. This networking tab showing all network interactions of the application with the backend server. And if I click the refresh, I can see that my application make API calls to tag endpoint and articles endpoint. If I click on the tags right here, uh, let me make it a little bit bigger. Here in the headers, this is the API URL and get request to receive the information about the tags. And in the response tab, I see this JSON object with the list of the tags. And these tags are exactly the same as the tags displayed in this box. The same related to the articles. If I click on the articles, look, the response with the articles, uh, Discover Bonder Academy title, and that's exactly the article in the um, homepage of this application. So in Playwright, what you can do is you can intercept this API call and then provide your own information in the response, whatever you need, why you may need this type of uh, testing. For example, you want to test some edge case scenario in your app that is difficult to set up precondition uh, using your real database. For example, load 1000 users to database or something like this. Or let's say you have a slow API that is flaking your test environment and you want to eliminate this flakiness in this API by just mocking the response, which is instant and fast because you control the response 100%. Or you have a dependency on third-party API. For example, in your test environment, this third-party API is also unstable and does not provide you reliable response every time you run the test. So you can mock this, just only this API endpoint, making your test much stable and faster as well using this technique. So let me show you how to configure mock and playwright. It's very easy. Going back to our application and I already set up uh, like a very simple example. So just opening the home page. So when you configure mocks, let's say we will replace the list of the tags that we see right now. We intercept the tags endpoint. Uh, when you intercept the APIs, you have to be sure that you create this interceptor before application makes this API call. Otherwise, it will not work. So in our example, when we open this application, application immediately makes two API calls to articles endpoint and to the tags endpoint. So it means that we need to define our interception commands before we open the application so Playwright will know what to expect and what to intercept. To intercept the API call, you need to configure a new router. And I type page.route and provide URL that you want to intercept. We are looking for API URL. So I'm copying the entire URL from the networking tab that I want to intercept. This is the first argument for this function. And the second argument will be a sync uh, callback function. I call it route. And here is where we define um, the instructions, how we want to intercept this API. First of all, let's create a new constant with the tags that we want to assign as a response. So I'll take this response as my example. So this is the initial uh, object that is coming back, taking it and copying right here, uh, making quick reformat and uh, let's modify it. So for example, I will remove three of the tags right here and I will replace this with Artem, let's say Bonder, uh, Bonder and uh, YouTube. So with this configuration, I expect that only three tags with the custom tags will be displayed in the application when interception happens. And uh, then I need just to fulfill these tags so they actually be displayed in the application. And I type await route fulfill and I need to fulfill the object with body and uh, body with the body I should provide this object uh, as uh, the object that I want to be displayed but it should be converted from the uh, JavaScript object into the JSON object and for that I will use 
json stringify and then parse the argument of the tags okay so everything is configured and let's try to run this as a first run so running this thing application is opened but you see the interception did not happen so why is that it happened because uh, our test is you know it's just too short and too small it's just opening the application and mm, does not do anything else so playwright when it opens application within 300 millisecond it's just disconnect the executor right away after this step and so when the browser actually loads uh, it does not get the mock response. For that, we need to add kind of additional weighting or additional validation, which tags we are expecting. So Playwright will properly wait for this information to be displayed in the browser. For that, let's add just a locator assertion. Await uh, expect. And I need to find the right locator for the list of tags going back to the application right click inspect and we can take for example this class that takes the entire section with the tags so i take this tags list tag list and i paste this class over here and i expect the tags list to have not not to have to contain to contain text and let's let's expect to contain for example artem this is the custom tag and now let's run this test one more time running this test again opening the browser and here we go right now you can see the custom tags are displayed as expected so we successfully intercepted the api request that application made to the backend we intercepted this request and provided our own response all right, so now let's make just a little modification and refactoring of this code. Instead of providing the entire URL, you can uh, provide the wildcard so you will not be dependent on the actual URL. If per environment use the URL would change for you, you can provide just wildcard like this, like dash dash uh, uh, star star and star. And it means that any uh, any URL that will be for this API will be intercepted unless we match this API tags pattern. So if I run this test one more time, it should work as well. You see it's working as expected. Also, you can remove uh, this object right from the code. Very often your response object will be quite big. For example, if we look into the networking tag, look how huge this object for the articles for example so you don't want to keep the objects like that uh, inside of your code base so you want to save them just somewhere in the projects and keep them separately importing them into your test so i create just a new folder call it uh, mocks like this and create a new file which is tags.json uh, and i will save this object and move this object to the JSON file like this reformat all right and uh, after that I'll just import this guy into the spec file uh, import tags from mox slash tags and now I get this tags imported over here and yeah I can safely delete this thing so the object will be imported from the JSON file. Let's try to run it just to make sure that it is still working as expected. Yep, it's working as expected. Also, sometimes you may need a more granular interception instructions, which uh, call to intercept and which allow to pass through. For example, uh, depends on the request type. Is it a get request or post request? If your tags and point for example, you want to intercept only uh, get request to the tags endpoint, but want to pass through post request for this endpoint. Or if you make a post request and want to intercept only calls that have a specific data inside of this call, then for you it will be a condition, hey, intercept this call and provide my response. How you can configure this? So you can create a condition like this. Uh, if uh, route.request 
uh, dot and then you have different options for example if you make a post request and you want to trigger the interception based on some text inside of this post request body so you're looking for if post data includes post data includes uh, certain I don't know certain string certain value inside of your request then you want to fulfill the uh, mock otherwise you just want to continue now for example let's configure it to not post data let's configure it to to the method type for example so if it uh, method includes method get like this then in this case we want to intercept so i'm putting over here okay otherwise else otherwise i want route to just continue the execution something like this okay and let's try if it is still working so right now it should work as it was working before because this is our get request but if i would expect for example post request that we don't have inside of our application i'm running this test and right now you see the original tags actually loaded and this test should fail because we have a different assertion over here right so we have expected artem but this text does not exist so that's additionally how you can uh, how you can um, tailor what kind of request do you want to intercept and what kind of request you want just to pass through normally to your backend server all right guys so that's pretty simple approach very powerful and very easy to use technique in the playwright to mock the api calls that you want so easy to use so please use it for your advantage but please also don't overuse it because if you mock too many api calls then what technically you are doing, you are increasing stability of your test, but uh, not doing real integration testing. So if you mock too many endpoints, you can miss a real defect of integration test between your front end and back end. So use this only for slow endpoints, for testing edge case scenarios, for uh, the cases like this. In all other cases, please use the normal end-to-end -end flow to make sure that you catch your integration defects. All right, if you like this video, as always, would be glad to see your likes and new subscribes, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.